Hello, and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on Star Trek Online. I'm going to go over the stuff I did yesterday, and we're going to knock out this mission. Uh, off camera, I went ahead and set up my ship. I made this one, Tacon Beam, and then I went ahead and bought the rest of these. They were like 12 to 15 a piece. I think these were 15 because they were purple. Um, we went ahead and switched up to Tech Trekion. Tetachion? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to try to butcher it either. Um, uh, main, main reason is I want to take down the shields as fast as possible. These are going to give the chance of going ahead and damage all the shields so the shields come down as fast as possible. I've got it set up for full beam boat, so uh, I'm, i got five total ones on here. Um, the only other thing that I would probably want to do is switch these two out to something that reduces the... Um, Resistance, and so I have one on the front, one on the back for resistances. Um, also, I made one of these. I might, I might be switching the rest of these out. Um, this is a purple. I had a high, a really high chance of making a, a Mark II purple, and that gives us plus 15 uh, turn rate. I'm probably going to be switching these two out pretty soon. I'm probably make the best ones I can. I, I think I can do all of the. Um, consoles here so I don't have to buy consoles anymore and uh, the weapons I can make too the only problem is I need I need um, titanium which means I'm gonna have to start not messing up and and not doing my dilithium every day because you can get titanium from your dilithium mining also probably gonna have to switch my um, fleet up because the one I'm in there's nobody on and they're not doing none of the um, daily stuff for the fleet missions and stuff and uh, I need a fleet that actually has the um, the lithium their own the lithium mine and ours the one I'm in doesn't and it, it was just a random somebody sent me a random uh, um, invite to a random fleet so uh, I'm probably gonna be switching that try to find one that actually has a lithium mine so I can do both of those and hopefully uh, max out the amount of um, R&D materials I have so I can just start making my own stuff and I don't have to actually um, do anybody else's stuff. Plus I'll probably start making stuff and putting it on the edge. Probably consoles will be our rest bet because they sell for good if they're the big purple ones. So uh, I'll we'll probably be putting some of these purple ones on. I'll look up to see which ones are the best buys on the edge to sell for the most and then I'll be making those and putting them on there. Uh, that's all for that. Um, I tried to switch out some of my people, but I didn't get what I wanted. Um, this is our new science officer. He is still green. Um, I don't remember what our other one was, but I know it wasn't blue. Um, I used a blue thing and it gave me a green officer. I don't know how that works. I don't. But anyway, uh, the skill setup that I got on us right now is I got two fire at wheels. Now, some people was would want me to go with the um, overloaded overload beam. Now I looked at both of them. Okay. Now what this does is it improves your next beam array attacks. Your bridge officer fires your beams at multiple targets. But if you go down here and look at what it actually does, it increases the rate of fire of each beam weapon fired for 10 seconds but target selection is random okay so what this actually does is it increases the fire rate for 10 seconds now if you've only got one target it's going to increase that fire rate on that one target because there's no random targets to select you've only got one target so this was my best option now and then so I have two of them I can keep these going um, as much as I want basically now there's a 20 second cooldown between these if I'm not mistaken so I have to wait 20 seconds to use them but I can keep them up when I mean, it's 10 seconds I gotta wait like 10 seconds to use each one of them um, when I get higher level I think that will reduce I think I'm 15 seconds on my other one so I can use it once every 15 seconds and a 30 second cooldown on it so uh, that's my goal is to get these to where I can pop this one off wait five seconds pop this one off wait five wait more 15 wait more than five seconds and pop this one off so I can get get them going all the time that's my that's my goal um, I switched out this one down here for draw fire I haven't upgraded in any yet because I don't have enough uh, of the uh, available points to put on there um, Zolan here 
I went ahead and went for um, hazard emitter because it gives me a damage resistance bonus and a hull heal over time. And I'm thinking that I have enough uh, shield heals right now. Um, so I don't need more shield heals and this will give me a damage reduction. So um, I'm going to leave my science officer to actually healing shield and uh, hull and uh, not none of the damage uh, moves uh, until we get maybe to this one. Um, this is going to be my hall heal and shield heal also. And uh, Zara here for now. Now these will be switching out. I'm going to try to get purples if I can. There, none of these are purples. I'm going to try to get purples. I'm going to wait till I level up. I'm not going to buy them. If I, if I get the purples and, and then I'll switch them out. This is what's going to happen. Um, this is the other guy I got. Maiden. I had an extra slot down here, so I went ahead and added him in. I can get rid of him if I get get another uh, duty officer anytime soon. So I left him the same. Nothing, none of his has changed. I haven't messed with this guy right here. Um, we are ready for this one now. I have I moved structural integrity up just to get some more hull strength. So as much tank stuff as possible. Um, I did have power insulators too, which will help with draining, resistance, resist draining, I believe. Yeah, so we'll probably be messing with that some more too. Um, but uh, we are right here. You see, 94, 93. So uh, we don't need to spend any more points here if we don't have to. So we're going to be going on to this one and probably putting these in when we get maxed out. But uh, we had a plan for one of these on this level first, and I can't remember which one. This one, warp core potential, it gives you a flat bonus to all power levels. So if we click on it, the bonus here. I, sorry, my son jerked on my little cord. So that's our basic plan. That's our basic setup. Let's go back to the status. Um, we are going to be using uh, plasma torpedoes. Um, I did not want to buy a new plasma torpedo because we're getting one for this mission. That's the best. So there's no point spending money to get one when we already going to get one. So we're just going to have to deal with uh, using this one right now. Um, this this setup right here is going to be upgraded as soon as I possibly can. I can go back and probably get a good shield or I can make one. Either one. When I can make one, I'll make one. So I'm going to make this stuff and upgrade as I go. That's my plan. So that's where we're at. We're going to go ahead and do this mission and then we're going to call it a day. Captain, we've arrived in the Denali system. Uh, Starfleet Intelligence told Admiral Quinn that they have a contact in Bavat fleets, Bavat's fleet, and that he is on one of these vessels. I, ex I was expecting some sort of coded transmission, but I'm not receiving anything. It's time for a direct approach, Captain. I recommend that we disable one of the Klingon ships and board it. Okay. So we are to disable the Tark and their escorts. Now I have tried this out in a daily mission. I had the chance to do the mission twice, but I did not. I wanted to save some uh, some of the stuff for you guys. Um. This battle is probably going to be a hard one. There's lots of stuff here. And I think when I did this on my solo guy, I kind of waited for him to be away from the base. But uh, we're trying out new stuff, so... Uh and if we die, we die. We'll know for next time.
Try to get our torpedo off real quick. Okay. Pop that off. Rotate. I think these guys are docked, so we pretty much have free reign on these guys. There we go. Come on. Talk stuck inside there? Where is he at? Is he inside now? Okay. Okay, he's disabled. I think the rest of these ships aren't going to bother us. Alright. So as soon as we stop, we'll get out of red alert. Go to full stop. Okay, so now we're going to go get on the ship. Now that does sound a little bit loud, so when we get on the ship here, I'm probably going to cut that down. I don't know why it's that loud. Well, maybe I cut it up yesterday. I don't remember doing that. I was on my Klingon yesterday doing some stuff. How can I help you? Captain, I'm coordinating with boarding parties, boarding party parties movements. The teams are reporting that Targ was running a skeleton crew. There have been a few skirmishes already, but shouldn't have too much difficulty securing the ship. Secure the engineering deck. Okay. Um, we need to scoot that down some. And we're going to um, go to options, go to audio. No, I have it's not bad. I don't understand. Every time I go back here, it gets louder. So, turn it down again, guys. If it's still loud for you, let me know. If it needs to be louder, let me know. There we go. You do get help during this fight. Your crew helps you, so that's kind of good. You kind of want to wait for them to teleport in and start battling before you actually start uh, shooting people. Okay, so now we need to take the turbo lift. The deck you are on is secure, Captain, but Gamma Squad is reporting that there are a few Klingons left on the bridge. The Klingons have locked down the turbo lifts, but now that you we hold the main engineering, we can take control of the entire system. Okay. I said I would work on that, and I keep talking like I'm. stuttering. <laughs> I gotta stop that. I'm not helping my case any. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Practice. It's the only way you get better is practice. Double lift the bridge. Yeah, if you... What? I don't know what that was, guys. Um, something dinged on me, took me out of my screen for a second. Hopefully, they mess up the video. Um, yeah, if you if you pop your uh, thing off first, then uh, if you shoot them first, then stop that. I don't know why it keeps trying to do that. Um, they attack you first, they get concentrated on you. You just let let your uh, team handle it. The bridge and the rest of the ship is. 
are secure, sir, and the remaining Klingons being transported to Maxie's fun time for holding. Commander Bargus was sure there was information on that ship that would be valuable to us, Captain. Perhaps it is in the ship's logs. There should be a terminal in the ready room. Maybe you'll have more luck finding out what we're looking for. Okay. That. I did do some more recruitment missions with my Dilithium and without my Dilithium for the Dolph missions. I have been betrayed by my first officer, a man I considered my friend, Kabar. Why? He and a group of traitors tried to take the ship. Kabar is the only survivor. There is also evidence that Kabar sent a coded message to Federation space. Well, that's not good. Not well, it's not good for them. It's good for us. I have trusted with my life would do this. He tried to explain, but I do not need to listen to the words of a traitor. Let him rot in the brig. Ambassador Babat has ordered me to bring him to the Imago system for questioning. Kabok will die screaming. It is not an honorable death. <laughs> Deserves. Sure, sure. Is that him saying that? He was, uh... Sorry, my son's asking questions. <laughs> I will answer his after the video is over with. So we just gotta find a cell he's in. Ooh, Tritanium, I needed that. The Tritanium sells for like 10 to 13,000 credits on the age. And you need three of them? Mm -mm, not paying that much. Where is he at? There we go. Use comp panel. I won't speak to you through the force field like a caged animal. Let me out and we can talk. Okay. If I don't like what you're saying, just shoot you anyway. Open the cell. Here we go. You are my enemy. But today, you are my only hope. Good, he talks. I will redeem my honor. Okay, as usual, unless he talks, I will not read this guys I'll just pop it up so you can say it yeah there we go then you can pause the video you can pause the video if you want to read it So let me do that one again. There's more. Oh, it wasn't that much more. more no, okay, that's that's enough here. Yeah. <laughs> he had a lot of questions. Uh, help me repair this ship, and we will fly it to Amaga together. Then we can disable the energy drain, so your fleet can enter. With your help, we can destroy the Doomsday Machine and end the threat to the Federation. Captain, I'm receiving a transmission from Earth Space Dock uh, for you, Priority One. I'll patch the message through. Use your terminal in the ready room. Uh, bridge. So I think we'll sit. Come on. Being difficult, aren't you? Here you go. Nah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I was gonna sit in the chair and do it. Excuse me. 
That's the situation here. Your orders? Do what you think is best. It's risky, but Kvalt may be our best chance to stop Bavat and this planet killer. I'm notifying all available ships to change course for Imaga. Once the energy drain is taken care of, they'll move in to support well, it looks you. like something happened to my to graphics. You it's how important it is to stop the Doomsday Machine before it's not the same as it was before. I want to check on that, guys. Let's try to fix that for the next uh, episode. I know you can do it. Good luck. Yeah. Looks like something yes, Captain. reset my uh, graphics Understood. settings. I'll join you shortly. We're counting on you. Captain, repair teams have begun to work on critical systems, but we could use your expertise. There are teams working on weapons, the sensors and impulse engines. If you could join one of them, it'd be a great help. Yes, we'll do that. Let's get down here. Ships, you read engineering journal, but you never had the chance to examine them firsthand. Yeah. Okay. An engine's an engine. <laughs> Ain't that right? Come on. Uh, engineering. So guys, as I've said before, if you have uh, ship builds, if you think that I'm doing something wrong and you have a suggestion for me, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments. I was going to post this online so people can give me tips on uh, the forms, the Star Trek forms, but I can't find any um, form to post it on. I don't know which po form to post it on. I'm going to do some research on it and see if I can't get that hooked up, and then I'll link it in the comments down here. I'm sure there's a place for uh, Let's Plays on the uh, Star Trek online forums. I just don't know where it's at, where I'm supposed to post it. So uh, I'll get that. I'll get that looked up. There's a problem. The impulse engines are undamaged. Helm control, however, is a different story. You need to replace the priority thrusters assembly before you can use the impulse drive again. Why is that in sickbay? Okay, and there it is. I see you. Yes, come here. What are you? Durian? No. Oh. Oh. <sighs> this, uh, if you don't know, guys, you timed on that, so if you take too long, then uh, you gotta look. I believe I gotta go back to the turbo lift. Yeah. Take the turbo lift. I think turbo lift is here. Yep. And I gotta go to sick bay. And we gotta click on this cabinet. Your translator ha is was working. There's a polarity thruster. Um, there should be an access port on the bridge to install it. This is weird. Why would you keep polarity thrusters in your sick bay? <laughs> Naughty, naughty. <laughs> On my Klingon ship, I'll have to make sure that that's not an issue. That's done it, sir. The ship is almost ready to go. Kavok has asked to speak with you when you have a moment. He's waiting for you in the chief office. The chief's office and the engineering deck okay looks like this episode is going to be a lot of running around this is kind of a long ship and the um no wrong way 
the Doomsday Devices ain't something to mess with. It's from the original series. I don't know if it was on Next Generation. I kind of seem to remember it being on Next Generation also. Excuse me. Uh, in some fashion or another. Those of you who don't know, ah, Doomsday Device was a giant like worm tank, plant, planet eater that just destroyed planets we need to for land food. On the to take control of the energy drain, but you would be noticed instantly. I've replicated a hollow emitter used by our intelligence services. It will change your appearance and voice to that of a Klingon warrior. I have enough devices for you and a small away team. Go ahead, try it out. Leave the hollow emitter on for now. Get used to it. Van Zyl to boarding parties. The captain is using a holographic disguise. If you see a Klingon moving toward the bridge, do not fire. Repeat, do not fire. <laughs> it's funny that they show that. So, uh, one of the few times you'll actually get to see this. So, this is what my character would look like if she was a Klingon. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'll do that every time we have to use hollow emitters. It happens quite a few times in, in several different missions. So, I believe we have to go back to the bridge. Yep. And if that was the case, then why... Is it showing me not returning to the bridge? It's weird. Oh, this is the bridge, so this is where I'm going. There we go. Hail your ship. Sir, is that you? I'm sorry, Captain. I'm just not used to ta taking orders from someone who... You look better in Starfleet uniform, that's all. <laughs> so sorry. I don't mean to dis any disrespect. I have my apologies. I've been updating Starfleet on our progress, sir, and Admiral Quinn says that the task force will be ready to enter the system as soon as it gets the all clear. We'll wait for your signal, Captain. Good luck. And, or should I say, kapla. <laughs> all systems are operational. We're ready to depart, Captain. Warp to... I'm monitoring communications from the planet. They're not calling for ships, so either they haven't noticed us or they think we're supposed to be here. We're safe for now, but that could change. We need to scan one of the generators maintaining the energy drain to get all the information I need to finish the new command program. Be careful. Bravat trusts no one, not even his own men. He may have defenses in this system, even I don't know about. Okie doke. So, basically, go around scan these guys. That. Scan generator. I'll stop. Yep. Dude. Alright, we'll have to fix that in a second. Because we're going to be using this ship for a while. <laughs> Come on, drone. 
Run for it! Let's try that again. Alright, first things first. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, scan generator. Systems are functional. Who attacked us? Drones? Ah, Papat must have upgraded the security. Scanning the generators now. I have the data. We will need to load the control program into all three generators. After that, we can change the command code from a terminal on the planet's server. Good to go. Upload program. And now we know at the next generators that we need to try to upload the program and then not stop. Um, we are going to up our actual power because that's the way I like to roll. And we'll try uploading program. And there we go. If it looks like I've handled a um, Klingon ship before, that's because I have. I've actually done this mission a couple hundred times. I have also actually had one of these actual ships. do have down here cloak so I can cloak if I want to looks like some R&D stuff I'll show you that you just hit this button then you cloak takes your shields off you can actually get a cloak for a couple of the uh, ships from the sea store and use it on your regular ships don't know which ones those are though Upload command program. Yeah. I knew that wouldn't last. Here we go. Come on, Mr. Drone. What's wrong, buddy? That looked like it hurt. Too small. I can't hit him with my torpedoes. That good. That was easy. Now we need to stop. The planet killer must be stopped. The generators are under our control now, but your ship won't be safe until we've locked Bravat and his forces out of the command console. I have equipped your away team with hollow projectors. They'll be ready and they're ready for the mission. And Captain, remember, you are a Klingon now. Try to look try not to look out of place. Sweet. Yep. And all of a sudden, it's cold, and I want to use the bathroom. <laughs> I have to pee. Speak to Bavat. I mean, uh, the Bavot. objective here is simple: find the control console and change the command codes. Then Bavat won't be able to stop us from shutting down the energy drain. There are two consoles. The Alpha console is staffed by an officer who might be willing to negotiate. The Beta console, uh, 
Let's just say that Commander Toth prefers fighting to talking. The soldiers here shouldn't challenge you, but be careful of the TARs. The hollow emitters won't fool them. I have another task to complete. Meet me back here when you are done with the command post. So, um, we have two different, and I believe we got to do both of them. Yes, we got to locate both of them. So we're going to have to battle one, and then negotiate with the other one. And we got to try to do this stealthily so we don't hit none of the targs. Now this group is fine because they don't have targs. A targ, for those who don't know, and are watching this and don't know anything about Star Trek, is like a like a kind of like a hyena type dog that they train for battle for Klingons. You, they used to give you one, I believe, as a reward, but I don't think they do that anymore. So here's the targs, and then we gotta we gotta watch out. We can't we can't get too close to those guys. And you got to be careful because not only can you not get too close, you got to be sure that your uh, people don't get too close either. We'll try running. If there's targs up here or not. I'm gonna head this way just in case. We'll see at the top. Yeah, there are. That's what I thought. Should be good. What are you doing? Passive. Ah, dang gummit. We're gonna die. Attack. Get away from these guys. Look, we're hitting me. Would you guys stop? Passive. God damn it. Stop it. <laughs> Make sure you guys put them on passive, otherwise they just start shooting all the Klingons in the area. And when you need to battle people, make sure you put them back on attack, otherwise you'll get murdered. They will do their passive moves even if they're on passive, so... Fight with honor. Uh, stand aside, Taba. To Dare challenge me? Dive the insult. We're gonna jump behind this dude. Place a turret here. There we go. It's not a turn, it's a mortar. I keep saying turn. I gotta switch these out. I have mortars. Here we go. I see your mission was successful. Excellent. Mine was as well. I have smashed the device that Bavot is used to control the Doomsday Machine. The planet killer is now dangerous to him and his ship uh, as to anyone else. You cannot control the storm, Captain. If you try, it will consume you. Meet me back on the ship. Uh, shouldn't we have just took it away from him so we could just, like, you know, stop it altogether? I mean, making it uncontrollable sounds like a really bad idea. <laughs> okay.
Make sure that you guys put these guys back on passive. Otherwise, they'll start shooting these guys again. If I'm not mistaken, the ship is back down this way. There's togs over here, so we need to skirt around them. Enemy target on sensor. Really? All right. There we go. Stupid togs. I thought we was far another way. I don't know. Maybe we wasn't. So who do we have waiting on us down here? Looky there. You. <laughs> you stumbled into my trap in the briar patch like a blind Grishna cat. And here you are again, luring Starfleet ships to my testing grounds. You testing grounds? <laughs> destroy them really they create glorious endless war and strife and it is all possible because of you your naivete has been a great help to me that's a big word for a klingon no i will not allow you to dishonor the empire with your thirst for blood <laughs> we fix our enemies as warriors for blood do not massacre innocents with machines of death. There are no innocents. There are only the strong and the weak. Are you strong enough to fight your own weapon? The Klingons kind of remind me of like the yin and the yang philosophy. No one is safe. This isn't over. Warriors, attack! Warriors, attack! And run like a little poop talk. Okay, on one of my people, on my Klingon, on my Klingon, I need I need to ask this because I don't have no dude, no idea. Um, one of my tribbles turned into a cannibal tribble. Now I know that's a good way to get the bodies because you can turn the bodies in for dilithium on the Klingon side. Um, I don't know how I did that. So if you guys know how I did that, then let me know in the comments. I know that if I put it off into my thing, I think I can grow more tribbles inside my inventory with food. And then maybe bring that guy back out and he'll kill him as I'm doing my missions. So, and uh, I can get the bodies that way. Also, I don't know whether I can use that out of battle. If it damages me, then I don't want it in my inventory anyway. I just need it there for whenever uh, I have tribbles that I want bodies from. So, uh, in the comments below, if you know anything about the the can cannibal tribble, let me know. Board the ship. You are my enemy, but today you are my only hope. I see it. But Vought's planet killer is here. Maybe it has a weakness that we haven't found yet. We need to run a scan. Go to the navigation beacon. 
that should clo be close enough for a scan, but far enough away to keep us safe until help arrives. Cool. Cinema. And this is how the planet killer works. <laughs> Damage report. Shook up, but we'll be okay. Captain, there's an unauthorized shuttle launch. It's Kabok. Hail coming in, sir. I'll put it on the main screen. Stay where you are, Captain. I'll handle this. Kabok, turn that shuttle around. You'll be killed. My life is of no consequence, but my honor. No, I must do this. Yeah, definitely, Destroy definitely they've changed the settings. I don't know if that's something they did recently or something. They lowered them back down. I don't, they shouldn't change my settings once I set them. Maybe one of their updates messed with my settings. So, I'm going to have to go back and fix those. He does die, and it doesn't help that much, so... Just FYI. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reading significant damage to the Doomsday Machine, sir. But it's still active. Imagine that. Captain, we still have the Harpang torpedoes. They might be enough to finish the job. The machine's hull is solid neutronium. So targeting it won't help. We'll need to fly in front of the doomsday machine and launch the torpedoes down that thing's throat. Oh, that won't the be a problem. We'll be here to help distract it, but we need to be careful. If we're in front of it when it fires its anti-proton beam, we won't fare any better than that moon did. So there's a really large anti-proton beam that's really devastating. Also, there is a battle going on, so sometimes you have to battle those guys. Um, you want to take your torpedoes off of auto fire, and you also want those on um, a button so you can fire those off when you're ready to fire them off. Also, you want your shields at maximum too. And uh, oh, no, no, no. back away, back away, abort! <laughs> Yeah, when it gets ready to do that move, you don't want to you don't want to be doing it then. Okay, so now now's a good time. So you want to get in front of it. And, uh, let's bring up our mission deck here. Come on. And this is just how I do it. There's other ways of doing it. If you do it from too far away, you'll miss though. There you go. And then you gotta wait 10 seconds. Oh no! Let's get turned around. One more hit like that, and we're dead. Also, good to be staying up close like this because, uh,. You can uh, dodge behind it when it gets ready to attack. I like that USS Crazy Horse. Yeah, I like that. Then you can just fly back around in front of it and do it again. That should have counted, though. I don't know why it didn't count. Why? 
aren't you firing? Oh, because we're not. Where's it at? Oh, how did I get back here? Okay. So we're getting attacked. Because we got too close to this battle. For some reason, we got turned around. a little bit farther out this next time. Let's hit seven. See if we can get some evasive maneuvers to try to get in front of this thing. Oh! Whew. Missed again. I think this one's going to kill us. <laughs> can we get around? Can we get around? Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Good. Two more shots. shot. Good. We're out of range. Come on. There we go. We should be able to fly over loop around got it and then we died <laughs> oh goodness can't take that yet respawn I knew we were going to die at least once Captain, my name is Kimin. While the Empire realizes that you played a vital role in defeating the threat of both our worlds, I'm afraid I must insist that you return the ship you you stolen immediately. Okay. Order, sir. Uh, yeah. Come on. Not yet. No. Oh, shoot. Cancel. We want that item out there. <laughs> I'm risking war by getting one item. It's probably a battery. Come on, battery, battery, battery. Ah, impulse engine. Okay, that was worth it. How can I help you? Um, can we... Yeah. We know. Warp out. Yep. So that's the end of that one, guys. Ah, I really have to pee, so I'm going to try to end this episode off right here. We're going to hail, turn this quest in. Kovac's loss is unfortunate, but he did what he believed he had to do. In the end, he died with honor. Fortunately, you were able to destroy the Doomsday device and end the threat to Bavak's weapon programs. We probably haven't seen the last of him, but at least now... He's disarmed at least as much as a Klingon, any Klingon, that is. And don't worry about having to return that IKS Targ to the Klingons. I don't believe there is much about uh, that class of bird of prey that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't already know. If getting a ship back lets the Klingons think they're won a small victory, I don't mind. And you shouldn't either. There are a few captains who can say they faced a threat like you did today. 
live to tell about the tale. Impressive work. And we get an officer, so I'm going to keep trying for a science officer. And also, we want the Harpang. And it is a Mark 6. Sweet. That's what I was worried about. It would be a Mark 4. It's Mark 6. Congratulations. And we don't want you right yet. So, we're going to put this on our ship. Guys, if you liked this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll send you notifications. I want to have new videos out. You can come check them out. See if you like them. If you do like that episode, um, we're going to accept this and then read it next time. Which I said, and I didn't do that to the last one. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, if you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them what you like it. Uh, there's a share tab down below. You can copy the share tab. Click on the link. Click on the tab. Copy the link. Post it in your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media act. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Uh, I might have some more of this stuff upgraded by then, too. But we'll see you later. Oh, I got an advanced triple. Sweet. That's getting all into me. Or should I leave it in there and let it multiply? Hmm. Get some more food. Damage debuff triple. That would be good. We'll, we'll, we'll write that later. See you guys later.